Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to pop on here today and do another little review for you about the other Clover Sack organizer that I got from Clover Sack. It is the smaller size and it is called the Emma 25. So there's four sizes. This is not the smallest size. This is the next smallest size, the 25. The other one I have is the 28, which is the next step up, and then there's a bigger one. So I have the two in the middle here that I've reviewed on my channel. And so I got this one to really go in my mini Florentine satchels um, because I've never tried an organizer in there and I have quite a few mini satchels. And this also has worked in a few other of my bags. Um, some of my like hobo styles, like my coach um, legacy duffel that I have, this has worked. And in, also in my Brighton Jake hobo, this size has worked. So I want to show it to you. I won't go over all of the features. Oh, look, a penny. It's my lucky day. <laughs> I won't go over all the features like I did in my other video because it is almost identical in terms of the organization, how the structure works as far as like putting the plastic pieces in. Um, it flattens just like the other one. So what I'm going to do is link the video for my last review below. So if you really want to know more about the details of this, um, feel free to go watch that review. But I wanted to show you this in comparison to the 28 size so you can get an idea of how they differ. So you can see it is a pretty good difference as far as how big they are. So this is the 28, this is the 25. Let me show them from down below. And the pockets on the outside are slightly different. So on the 28, you have two smaller slip pockets on one side. Put this down. See, and then you have the large slip pocket on the other side, which I love for my um, plus size smartphone. On the 25, you only, you get two large size slip pockets. And these still work for my plus size smartphone. It fits perfectly in here. So that is really the only difference between the two. As far as the interior pocket setup, it's pretty much identical. So these clearly are both in the red color, but like I said in my last video, there's other color options available if um, your bags have um, either black or I think beige is the other option on the inside. And like I said in my last video, these have been tested and guaranteed to not transfer dye to the interior of bags. So even if you do get red, but you're worried about putting it in a bag that has a beige lining, don't worry about it because seriously, they are guaranteed not to bleed on the inside of your bags. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, the bag that I've been carrying this cute little Emma 25 in this week, how I had my stuff organized in it. And then I'm also going to show you guys how difficult Mm, not that difficult, but how it is to get in and out of a bag with a small opening because we all know the mini Florentine satchels have really small openings. So I will show you guys all of that. I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so this is the amazing bag that I've been carrying for the last three or four days. It is my mini Florentine satchel in the color aqua and it's by Dooney and Burke. And the mini satchels are about 11 and three quarter inch long. So even though it is called a mini, it's a pretty decent size bag. Um, but I just want to show you what it looks like with the organizer inside. So this is how I had all my stuff organized this week. You can see in the back part here, I've put my um, small umbrella as well as my sunglasses on top. In the front part, I have my small wallet. And this also works if I stand it up. So at one point this week I was carrying something else here and I stood this up and put it next to it and that worked. And then um, my car keys here next to my wallet, pepper spray, hand sanitizer and tissues in the center compartment. And then in this divider I have my small pouch that I carry essentials in. And then what I've been doing with my phone is actually slipping it in one of the, either the back slip pocket on the outside or the front slip pocket so that I have easy access. Since this bag does not have any outside pockets, um, I kind of want it, if I want my phone to be accessible, I've been putting it on the outside here so I can find it easily. But that's what it looks like on the inside and you can see that the red color matches perfectly and it looks really 
really nice in there. I'm going to show you now how you fit it inside the bag because I talked before in my previous review about how it's a little difficult for bags with small openings to fit it inside. So I just want to show you what that process is like. So this is what it's like to put this organizer in a bag with a small opening. And this is a really small opening. It's probably only about eight inches, maybe 10. Um, but yeah, it's pretty small as you can see. So here is the organizer and you can see it's a really snug fit for this mini satchel size. So what I do is I put it in here, like on the opposite side of where the zipper is and you really have to bend it in and it's going to feel wrong. <laughs> and then you have to get the key keeper out of the way and you just kind of like work it in there and you have to really kind of use your hand and work it down into the corners because it is a super tight fit. And then you kind of bend the sides out so that it expands in there and fits. So you can see it really is a perfect fit for this size. And you can see even empty, it gives the bag a nice bit of structure. Um, I can't collapse the bag any further of this than this because of the organizer inside. So if you have a bag that's less structured, this is really great. And so let me show you when I take it out how the bag looks. Because this bag does have a decent amount of structure to it but you can still see like without the organizer I can really smush it so it really helps to keep things looking nice and keep the bags shape all right guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope it helps you um, decide whether or not you want to try one of these out I think it would be a great gift for holidays or birthdays um, if you have a woman in your life who likes handbags but seems to always buy all of her own handbags like me and so she doesn't want anyone to buy her a handbag this is a nice little gift that you could get her that kind of goes with her obsession or hobby um, without being um, something that she would probably rather choose herself all right guys thank you so much for watching as always please subscribe and I do videos a few times a week all about handbags and handbag accessories organizers all that kind of stuff so if you like it please subscribe and hopefully um, you will stop by for my next video all right guys I'll see you next time bye